What's up, you guys? Josh Tongley here. Today, I want to talk about the issue of timing. Like, how long does it take in order for something to manifest, or better stated, for your reality to shift? Or how long should you keep doing a particular technique? And I'll be sharing the answer Neville Goddard gives regarding that, and also a bit of my own personal experience, which is consistent with what he talks about. Now, when it comes to manifesting, there are a bunch of different ways or techniques people go about it, right? So some people like to call it prayer, whether it's praying to God, their version of God, the universe, higher self, whatever you want to call it. And it's usually in the form of a petition where they're asking for something. Other people meditate or they visualize or say affirmations or do a particular modality that they've learned. But whatever the process is, one thing's for sure, we all have desires that we want to see realized. And maybe it's wanting to make more money or healing for your body or restoring a relationship, you name it. And the question that usually pops up is, how long is it supposed to take? Or how many times should you keep doing a particular technique? Now, those are two different questions. As for the first part of how long it's supposed to take, the short answer is, it depends. It depends because it's different for each person. And as for the second question of how many times should you be doing a technique, I'll get into that later. You see, the best place to start, in my opinion, and what needs to be understood is what makes reality shift in the first place. Because if you don't know that, then doing any sort of technique without the proper mindset and framework won't do you much good. You know what I'm saying? And so according to Neville, we create our reality through our imagination, through imagining. Because to him, consciousness is the only reality and we live and move in different states. And since all things come from within, it's our particular state of consciousness that will determine the events we'll encounter. And so it's not just about trying some random technique, expecting to get results, but it's about understanding what is the key element that will get you to shift to that state of consciousness that you want. And Neville constantly refers to what is called the Law of Assumption, where he encourages people to center their imagination in the feeling of the wish fulfilled. To him, that's the secret. It's about the feeling. And you do this technique as you're falling asleep, where you're not thinking of your desire, which implies what? That you don't have it, right? That's why you're desiring it. But rather, you're thinking from it. You're thinking from the end. Big difference. And so through the use of your imagination, when you're thinking from it, you're imagining your desires as already yours. So it's not in the future. It's now. And he says that as you do that, you want to feel yourself into it like you're actually there, like you're in it where you're giving it all the tones of reality with all the sensory vividness, that once you become completely absorbed in that emotional state, at that moment, you're assuming the feeling of the wish fulfilled. Now, this is important because according to Neville, everything you experience is the result of your own emotional mental pictures pushed out. Let me say that again. Everything you experience is the result of your own emotional mental pictures pushed out. Okay, now back to the question of how long should you keep doing this technique? And the answer is this. You do it until it is objectively realized. Simple as that. You see, Neville teaches that it's not enough to just feel yourself into the desired state, but that you also got to persist in that state. Now, don't misunderstand me. Results can happen in a short period of time, straight up. I've seen it happen many times. Not always, but it can happen. But if you don't see results immediately, I'm telling you right now, the key is persistence. The key is persistence. He says that in order for your assumption to be effective, it can't be a single isolated act, but it must be, listen, a maintained attitude of the wish fulfilled where you're holding that state and living in the end and that it's the frequency, not the length of time, that makes it natural. That's what Neville says is a secret to success. Think about this, since it's all about the state of consciousness you're in that will determine your reality. If you're conscious of being poor while you're praying or meditating or doing whatever technique you're doing, what do you think is going to happen? You will create that which you are conscious of being, namely poverty. Same goes for healing. If you're always conscious of being sick while you're taking your medicine or saying a bunch of positive affirmations, what should you expect? Right. Remember, whatever you focus on, whatever you're conscious and aware of, 
expands. That's why you must assume the positive consciousness of the thing desired, whether it be prosperity consciousness, health consciousness, whatever. Remember, this is done through your imagination. All right, let's be real here. I know there are some people out there who will give up right away, like right after their first try, straight up, okay? Because they get discouraged, and I get that. But there are others who continue in their assumption until it is objectively realized. Question, which one are you? Which one are you? You see, for me, back in 2005, I was struggling with a serious back injury and later on with a chronic digestive disease. And I was told by well-meaning people, good people, some even in the medical field, that I would suffer with my conditions the rest of my life and that I would just have to learn how to manage and live with all the pain and discomfort. And you know what? That was an option. That was an option. I could have just quit and been like, screw this. But nah, dude, for me, I knew, especially because I was only in my early 20s at the time, for goodness sake, that I did not want to live with all that pain and sickness the rest of my life. Hell no. My desire was I wanted to get better. And so I did not accept the reality that others told me. And I didn't quit, even if I didn't see the results right away. But remember, it was a choice. It was a conscious decision that I kept having to make every day. And many of you know my story. But if you don't, I learned about how we can manifest our reality. I put it into practice. Yeah, it took some time, I gotta be honest. But you know what? I didn't give up. I didn't quit. And look at me now, almost 15 years later, my back is still good. And my throat condition, my GERD's completely gone. Completely gone. Persistence, you guys. It was totally worth it. Because look at me now. I wouldn't be where I am today. Now, as for you, if your desire still hasn't been realized and you feel like giving up, Look, no one's forcing you to keep on going. You know what I'm saying? No one's forcing you. But my question to you is, what do you really want? What do you really want? And if you're willing to persist in assuming that you've already received what you want and will take no for an answer, then I say keep going. Keep going. You got to believe in yourself. Whatever you're confronted with right now, whatever the facts are, and despite what your senses tell you, it doesn't think and matter. Don't give up. Don't give up. Don't let anyone tell you you can't have what you want. Dare to believe in what you have assumed and claim that you are what you want to be and persist in that assumption. Why? Because it's already done. It's already done. Live in that state. And if you're persistent enough, that state of consciousness, that state of being will eventually become your world as within so without repeat the words of neville every day i did it i'm doing it and i'll continue to do it until that which i have done is perfectly externalized within my world because you get what you believe yeah all righty guys hope you're encouraged by this and if you are do me a favor please like and share because it actually helps more people discover my work and it would be dope to hear about your experiences in the comments below Hit that subscribe button and the bell right next to it to be notified of my new videos. I pop these out every single week so you don't want to miss them. And don't forget to register for my free online training where I teach on manifestation and the law of attraction and all that good stuff. A lot of people are getting encouraged and empowered so check it out. The link's in the description. Like I always say, more's coming. Till next time, I'm out. Peace.